Hey animal enthusiasts and pet hobbyists, it's Joel here and today we're going to go over one of the fastest snakes in California. Let's get into it. Meet the California Striped Racer, Masicophis lateralis. These are a non-venomous colubrid native to western North America particularly California and parts of Baja, Mexico. They thrive in a variety of environments including chaparral, oak woodlands, grasslands, and desert foothills. Adults are generally 30 to 48 inches long, occasionally reaching up to 60 inches. The underside of the jaw is usually spotted with a cream or pale background tapering to pink or salmon towards the tail. The body is sleek and slender with two bold yellow or cream stripes running the length of its dark brown or black body. These stripes often cause them to be mistaken for garter snakes in genus Thamnophis. Some general differences between the two are that the scales for racers are all smooth, while garter snakes have keeled or rigid scales. The supraocular scales of racers also give them that cartoonish, mad-like look in my opinion. Lastly, many garter snakes also have a third dorsal stripe running down their back, unlike the striped racer. As the name racer suggests, they are incredibly fast, capable of speeds up to 3.5 miles per hour, just slightly below the speed of their coach whip cousins, who are in the same genus. In short bursts, this speed makes them difficult to catch in dense vegetation and thick brush, allowing them to escape predators. This speed is also used to hunt down their prey. They are primarily sorophagous, meaning they eat lizards, as well as exhibit ophiophagy, where they eat smaller snakes. Occasionally, they'll feed on small mammals, birds, amphibians, and even insects. Unlike constrictors, they don't wrap around their prey. Instead, they strike quickly and overwhelm them, sometimes beating them against the ground to stun and subdue the prey. Then they swallow it whole. They rely on their excellent eyesight by slithering with their head and forward part of the body raised off the ground. This allows them to keep alert to spot potential danger and prey. When threatened, they prefer to escape rather than fight, relying on their incredible speed although they do tend to be a little bit more bitey compared to some other snakes. While the California striped racer is not endangered, habitat loss and urban development pose challenges to their survival. Roads in particular can be deadly as these quick snakes may attempt to cross with disastrous results. Many snakes like to stay on the warm asphalt at night as temperatures begin to drop. We can help protect racers by preserving natural habitats and being mindful of wildlife crossings. They cannot be taken from the wild without a license in California, nor do they make good pet snakes anyways, especially for beginner reptile keepers. They are highly active and fast moving, making them difficult to handle and require a very large enclosure with well ventilation to mimic their natural habitat. On top of that, their diet consisting mostly of lizards would require a steady supply of feeder lizards, which is difficult to come by and often expensive, so I would not recommend them for a pet. Whether you're observing a California striped racer in nature, or learning about their incredible adaptations from home, they remind us just how amazing California's wildlife truly is. Thanks for joining me to learn about this beautiful snake, and if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more wildlife content, and drop a comment if you've ever seen a racer in the wild. Until next time, keep exploring and respecting nature. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.